So the summary is DeepSeek Reasoner is a good model at a really good price, but with Agent Zero, just go with DeepSeek Chat. Welcome back. The DeepSeek R1 reasoning model has been released and Agent Zero has been updated to support it. So let's take a look. You've probably seen benchmarks like this showing that this model is on par with OpenAI01. And you might also have seen the pricing comparison showing that it can be 50 times cheaper than 01. So let's try with Agent Zero. So first of all, make sure you have the latest version, at least 0.8.1.1. That's the version where I added support for DeepSeek Reasoner. Then you will need to have an account on DeepSeek platform. You need to top up your account and grab your API key. Then inside Agent Zero, you put your API key in the settings, API key section, DeepSeek API key field. And then you can set your chat model to DeepSeek provider and DeepSeek dash reasoner model or chat model if you don't want to use the reasoning capabilities. One more thing you have to do is to remove the temperature setting of the model because the reasoner doesn't support temperature and it will throw errors. Right now I use reasoner for chat model. I use DeepSeek chat for utility model. For the embedding model, you have to choose something else because DeepSeek does not provide embedding models in their API. And I use DeepSeek chat for the web browser model. Okay, let's do a really quick test. I will not be testing all the reasoning capabilities. I just want to test the flow inside Agent Zero. So let's say create a Tetris melody in MIDI file. This is the nature of reasoning models that you have to wait for the first token. Sometimes it can be very annoying. It can even take a minute or two if the task is complex. If you just say hello to the model, it will respond fast, but yeah. Okay, wow, that was like over two minutes. I don't know whether this was a communication issue or whether the reasoning really took this long, but yeah, it happens. Okay, please be quick. Okay, let's hear some music. Maybe if the timing was better. Yeah, a few extra notes here and there, but yeah, you can't blame text model for being bad at composing music. All right, deep seek chat, non reasoning model. Yeah. You can see it spins up much faster. It installs dependencies, just like the reasoning model. Okay, this one seems quite a bit longer, I think. Okay, so it created a MIDI file verify that the file exists. Let's download and check. Uh, okay, both of these models were able to create a melody 
in a MIDI file. Both of them were able to install dependencies, write the file, verify that the file exists. So these results are basically equal. The reasoning model got the melody better, but that might have been luck. Right? These models are not meant to be composing music. I would expect at least the reasoning model to first search for the notes online because it has the search engine at its disposal. It has browser agent, so it can go online and search for the notes before executing, but none of these two models did that. Okay, now let's check the pricing. That is probably the most impressive part of DeepSeek. Even the reasoner is is very, very cheap models, especially compared to O1. If we take a look, it was 38 cents yesterday and 10 cents today for roughly a million tokens used. You can see that about 80% of these tokens are cached. That is very good for the price. That is showing that the, the Agent Zero framework is very well optimized for prompt caching. But far more impressive than the reasoning model, in my opinion, is the chat, because look at that. 125 API requests with 300,000 tokens for less than one cent. Right? You can use DeepSeek chat all day long and it will probably cost you like five cents. And given the fact that even the chat model can do sort of reasoning before every tool output, this really blurs the line between these two. So the summary is DeepSeek Reasoner is a good model at a really good price, but with Agent Zero, just go with DeepSeek Chat. You still get the benefit of chain of thought because it is built into the framework. You get much faster responses and there is not a noticeable difference in the quality of the output. At least in most tasks inside Agent Zero, it's fair to add that. If you have a really complex problem, you might require a model with advanced reasoning. Okay, I hope you enjoy experimenting with these models, especially now with these discounted prices. See you next time.